khi ông chung một tri sĩ thấy cứ chia bát thiên cầm co phần này càng thay đổi sản nếu không mà chưa mình nuôi sản phẩm này thì mày My name is Lan Ho. I have been working as an education manager at Save Vietnam Wildlife. My name is Chai Wood Good Pan. I am the lecturer at the Ubon Lachatani University. My name is Santi Saipanya and I work for Wildlife Conservation Society Laos program. If we talk about conservation, it's a really simple word, right? It's a one word. But to do it, it's not easy at all. Conservation is the term of sustainable youth. We don't want to stop to eat the fish, but we need to tell the public about the, how is the balance between the harvest and sustainable. Who caused the problem for our species of conservation is human being. We need to bring everybody to the table to work together to help each other to address the issue. Across Southeast Asia, there's a growing understanding that we need to conserve the region's unique and diverse wildlife. One of the reasons for this improved awareness is the important conservation work happening in the region. From educating communities, to studying biodiversity, to caring for endangered wildlife, the direct involvement of local people in conservation offers hope for the future. In Cambodia, at the Phnom Tamao Rescue Center, headkeeper Trey Sitang oversees more than 1,200 animals made up of 98 different species that were rescued from the illegal wildlife trade. ហើយដើម្បីឲ្យគ្មានគ្មានសកលក្រោយបានស្គាល់ផងដែរនៅក្នុងនេះក៏យើងមានកន្លែងមន្ទីរសម្រាប់ជាពលមានសម្រាប់
it's not easy to talk with your people about uh, uh, the pangolin have to uh, balance the ecosystem. So what is the ecosystem? <laughs> so sometimes when people ask us uh, why we have to protect pangolin, what the pangolin uh, benefit to our life or something like that, we just talk about how special uh, the pangolin is, how the, um, the, the future generation need to know about the pangolin as an important part of the food chain. And we see that it works, especially with Vietnamese people. And uh, when we talk about how the suffering of the pangolin in the Ilo Project. They feel very sad and they want to do something to protect the animals. Since its inception, the organization has helped rehabilitate hundreds of animals rescued from the illegal wildlife trade and has inspired thousands of children and adults to care about Vietnam's unique native species. In Thailand, fishery scientist Chaiwut Grudpan and his colleagues work to expand knowledge about Thailand's endemic fish species. Fish, unlike other wildlife, have many interactions with local people on a daily basis and help support the food security and economy of the lower Mekong Basin. In terms of fishes, the problem is the way to identify because some is threatened species, some is common, some is exotic species for this region. How to identify because in the region, we also found many of fish in the freight market. That is the main problem. And why I so confirm the observation field survey is very important. And also the reference collection from the reference museum in this region is so important for our resident. With support from the Naga'o Natural Environment Foundation, Chai Wut and his colleagues have been able to document information about Thailand's fish species to help locals understand which fishes are abundant and which need conservation. In the past, we have a lot of local knowledge in terms of how to uh, maintain the natural resources. We not consume a lot, we just consume for our own family. But nowadays is the economic ranking. We consume the natural resources much more the sustainable youth. I think if we compare with other big rivers like Amazon River in Brazil, the Mekong is so unique because the people here in the history timeline recognize the fit is very important. We also can saw the uh, prehistoric painting at the National Park in Thailand. They are paint the picture of giant catfish. Also in Angkorian period, in Bayon Temple, we can find many of stone sculpture of many fish species. That means the fish is have very important for the people in this region. In Laos, Wildlife Conservation Society Country Director Santi Sepanya brings his local knowledge from growing up as a hunter and his educational background in business marketing to teach others about the need for all to participate in conservation. When I was like a 10 or the f less than 15 years old, there were so many species of birds and even small mammals. But because of the unsustainable hunting, part of that was me who was uh, a hunter and I hunted as much as I, I wanted to and then one day all the birds gone all the small mammals that I used to see in in my village were gone that's something that I can use when I go to the uh, village community or villagers talk to villagers what will happen if they continue hunting the wildlife in their villages the, as the same scale or the same rate as, as they do right now because I, I face this by myself. The first group of people who will be affected if we lose the, those species are the local villagers. So they, they need to realize that and they need to understand, they need to keep their hands on, on this uh, uh, work and in terms of the uh, management of their resources. Wildlife is part of the ecosystem. That means people in the city still rely on those uh, ecosystems. If they cause the problem today, it might not affect them today, but for their next gener generations to come. 
Although conservation work has its challenges, conservationists are hopeful for a brighter future in which humans and animals can coexist. This hope comes in the form of local people calling in to report illegal crimes, choosing not to eat wildlife, and promoting wildlife conservation. Uh, one driver uh, living in central Vietnam, he found one pangolin in the road on the, in the village, and uh, people offer him the cost equal four months of his salary, but he refused all the offer and contacted us to uh, try to rescue and then release that pangolin to the wild. So I, I want to say that there are many, many people are fighting to save the pangolin. What I do is start for myself. I don't eat any wildlife. I don't consume any wildlife. That I think everybody can start from her or himself. Uh, if, they, if they would like to support the wildlife uh, conservation work, they might consider staying in the green hotels, visiting the national parks around the world. Also, if they have uh, enough money, if they have a lot of money, they might want to donate to the recognized uh, organization. That's the really simple things that they, they can do. For the local people here, they need to understand what is their treasure if they understand what is their treasure, what is important, I think they can understand how to do. Bachi Chung Krai Chim Som Thaim La Kun Chang Chiri Chiri Chom Pu Bang Pon Bachi Borat Na Bati Kam Chi Jing Teng Mu Tai Tai Yok Chat Tuk Dat Chom Mu Nang Ka Abra Sat Pre Nong Tamai Abra Sat Pre Nong Krong Bati Kam Chi Jing Som Bang Pon Chui Aka Abra Sat Pre Nong Bati Kam Chi Jing Lang Wen. Si Tang, Lan, Chai Wu, and Santi are each inspiring examples of local people working to conserve wildlife based on their areas of expertise. Together, they show that everyone doing a small part can make a big impact to conserve nature for all.